All right, so um, so basically what I did, uh, I already took it apart because I had to do a diagnosis on it to figure out what was wrong with it. Um, so basically I took the windshield wiper arms off there and there, and I took the plastic cowl off. Pretty straightforward stuff, nothing serious at all. Just some plastic clips. Um, the wiper motor is right there and it's attached to the transmission. You can see with those three bolts, not a huge deal. Uh, most GMs do this same setup where uh, there's a 10 there and a 10 there that hold this whole thing into place. And generally there'll be, uh, there'll be two screws up under the windshield, like there and there, that you can access from the outside on a GM anyway. And, um, but as you can see, that is the back side of a nut cert, and there's two of them there, which means that the um, the bolt the bolt is on the uh, wrong side. It's on the inside of the car. So what I'm gonna do is uh, take the dash pad off <laughs> to get to those two bolts so that I can get the whole transmission out. Um, so the first thing I need to do is. Um, on the tap, top of the dash pad, there's these two access ports right here and right here. Okay, so I'm gonna take these off. There should be a couple uh, seven millimeter bolts underneath of there. Actually, I'll go ahead and pop those off now. Just like, oops, just like that. And there they are. Now, so once I get those out, uh, basically just uh, pry along here. Actually, I'll just go ahead and do it real fast. It shouldn't take me that long to get these out. And then this should pop out of here. The people at Saturn love to just pop cars together. It's like those old snap tight models back in the day. Come on. Oops, sorry, my finger's in the way there. Come on. Looks like I gotta go to the other side. So anyhow, as you can see, give you a little better angle of it. That's all loose right there. I'll uh, come to the other side of the car real quick. Pop this last clip off. Okay, here we go. All right, so I'm gonna try something a little different. Um, I did the first person thing doing the brakes and all that on the Jeep. So I set up the camera in the back seat so that I can work on this thing. And you guys can still kind of see what I'm doing. Uh, I'm gonna try my best to stay out of the way, um, but at least that way you get a better idea of how all this works. So anyhow, I'm gonna jump up there and explain everything to you. All right, so first thing you need to do is get this pad out of the way. Ugh. And uh, there's two seven millimeter bolts to hold this down. There's one on the behind this instrument cluster and one over here. I'm gonna take those out real fast. Unfortunately, the uh, gun won't fit in here because the windshield's in the way. And hopefully my voice is not too muffled. I'm, I'm trying to do my best here to uh, uh, talk loud enough so you can hear me. Oh shit, and then I went and did that. <laughs> right. Awesome.
If you have an electric ratchet, that's probably work way better. Okay. There's supposed to be a tab down here on the bottom side. Let me get on the other side here. You can see you just gotta, there's a little thing, you just gotta pull the tab out to get it out. Alright, here's some insulation. And uh, I'm gonna grab the camera. There's some two damn bolts to hold the other side of the windshield wiper motor in. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go grab a couple socket so I can unbolt these real quick, and we'll go from there. As you can see through my time lapse, um, <laughs> this is a tight ass fit. I mean, there ain't no lying. Okay, so the trick is see that bolt right there? So you gotta weasel this thing down, and then you just gotta uh, take a uh, motivational tool, as I like to call them, and just pop it. Let's see if I can keep the uh, camera from moving. And gently, Breaking anything. And that's basically how you gotta do it. Unfortunately, it, uh, and this is not easy to do. I'm gonna set the camera down so I can use both hands, or else I'll be here all damn day doing this. Um, okay, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and see. Hopefully, it's not too grainy. I haven't tried zoom zooming yet. will move a little bit just enough it'll move that way just enough to where you can weasel this damn thing out of there um, okay now the sad and unfortunate part is that's only half the battle because um, once you get this thing out Yeah, yeah, okay, so we're not done yet, because it ain't out. Um, so, well, I tell you, Saturn, you guys are dicks. Frickin' day. All right. Oh, man, what a pain in the ass. But here it is. And I managed not to break the windshield. <laughs> In case you're wondering why the tape's on here, my employer does not like me to have their stuff on the internet. 
Anyhow, so if you're wondering why there's tape on my shirt, that's why. I'm getting ready to go to work and I didn't want to change. Uh, anyhow, uh, so now that we have this thing apart, the um, there's three mounting bolts there, one, two, and three. And then on the inside here, let's see if I can get a good angle of it. There is a, that's, there's a nut right there. Um, let's see if I can rotate the transmission so you can see a better angle of it. Nope. So anyhow, um, what's really important about this is that a lot of these motors, when they come, they don't have this little arm right here. This one down here, the lower one. And it's really, really important to note what direction that's facing. Because when you put this thing all together, as you can see what a pain in the ass this thing is to get together. If you don't clock this right, the windshield wipers won't clock in the right place. They won't set flat when you stop the windshield wipers. They'll stop here or they won't stop working at all because it the, the computer inside here or the module won't recognize this in the right spot. Very important to remember how this thing's clocked. So, yeah, because I'm almost positive that it doesn't uh, that it doesn't come with one because this is all one piece. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to devise a way to hold all this in place so that it doesn't move. And then when I put the new motor in, everything's lined up. I just got to put and hopefully that this is in the park, the motor's in the park position. Uh, actually, I'll probably run power to it and make sure that that's the case. But anyhow, just food for thought. Uh, it's a, as you can see, this thing's no fun to get in and out. So, um, or worst case scenario, if you mount it in there, plug it in and turn the damn thing on first and make sure it works right before you put the dash and all that crap back together because um, then you'll have to do this all over again. Yay, fun. So anyhow, um, I haven't, had a, I haven't gotten a motor yet for it. I wanted to get the part numbers off of here so that way I can make sure to get the right one. But uh, anyhow, uh, when I get the new uh, motor, I will make sure to, uh, to try and hit the record button and show you guys putting it all back together and, and all that. So anyhow, I will be back with you probably tomorrow. All right. Well, unfortunately, the uh, I, I didn't look and see how much charge was in my camera when I uh, filmed the whole assembly process of the wiper motor. Uh, so unfortunately, I, all that time I put into it, I, I lost it all. It. I'm sorry. I. Uh, I guess I should have paid better attention. But anyhow, uh, basically I reversed the procedure that I did to take it apart. Um, not terribly difficult. Um, going back in, the wiper transmission and all that's a lot easier going back in than, uh, than it was coming out. Um, and like I stated earlier, um, basically when you put the motor in, uh, plug it in and cycle the switch and make sure that everything's where it's supposed to be because you don't want the wipers to go skidding across the hood or anything like that. Um, so anyhow, uh, once again, I apologize for uh, not getting to film the, uh, the assembly process. I will promise I'm going to do better next time. I'm just trying to get better and better, uh, pay attention while I'm doing this. So anyhow, I really appreciate you watching my video. Uh, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Uh, I've got a whole bunch more stuff coming along. Uh, hit the little post notification button or bell there. So uh, whenever I do release a video, uh, make sure that you, you know I've got something going on. And uh, uh, it's only going to get better from here. So anyhow, once again, thank you so much for watching and uh, have a great day and we'll see you next time.